I'm doing 100% better overall than I was when I first came here. Um, my jaws no longer popping, they're locking on the right side. Um, my headaches are non-existent, which is great because I used to suffer from chronic migraines for many, many years. Um, my ear pain, which used to be like a big infection, is non-existent. I was assisting a student in an upset at my school district. Um, I had to do a CPI seated hold with the student and I ended up getting headbutted on the right side of my jaw right here. That happened on September 21st, 2022, around 9 a.m. Jaw pain um, right here. Um, I typically live with a um, six or a seven, but it ends up being a 10. The more I talk, the more I use my jaw. Correct, speaking, eating, um, if I'm yawning, anything that involves a lot of motion with my jaw or a moderate amount, it aggravates it and I feel it especially more the next day. Um, it, it, if I touch my jaw, I have to be very careful because if I put any like moderate amount of pressure, it really hurts. Sometimes up to a 10, usually it's sitting at a seven or a six on that. Um, depends on my week, depends on what I'm doing. If I'm using my jaw more like during the school year, most days of the week, I hit a 10 by the end of the day and I don't wanna talk anymore halfway through my day, which is hard to teach special needs students. Um, number two would be the locking. Locking mainly happens when I overextend my jaw, mainly when I'm yawning and I'm not careful. Um, it also can happen, like let's say I grab a food and I'm not thinking and it's more chewy. That can happen if it goes too far down. Point. It locks on the right. And the left side no more, both of them? It'll lock on the left, but it holds more on the right. The right is more tense. There's weakness on the left, I think. Two to three times. Um, I'm usually able to get it back in. It takes anywhere from a couple minutes to about five minutes. It's very scary when it locks, so I don't know if it'll go back in or not. Third one was my headaches. Okay. Um, I've been prone to headaches since I was 15. Most of the time they're manageable. Um, since I got hit, they're not so much manageable. I'm usually sitting around um, six, five, six, depending on the day. Um, they can go up to a 10. The more my jaw is aggravated, the pain in with my headaches correlates with that. Um, the pain's mostly on the front. Sometimes it's in the back, just depending on how bad my jaw hurts. The fourth issue is um, pressure with my ears. It feels very similar to a severe ear infection. I've had this in the past. Um, the ear pain has had, from the infections, I've had, I've had infections before in the past. That's why I can relate it to this, but so I can describe it for you. It feels like it. It feels like it. Um, it really bothers me. Um, the pain that causes from the pressure um, can go up to a nine. Usually it's sitting at um, five to seven, depending on the day. It's the right side more than the left, and the okay. right side. It's right here. Okay. And on the left side, the same spot, but it's more on the right than on the left. I'm doing 100% better overall than I was when I first came here. Um, my jaws no longer popping, they're locking on the right side. Um, my headaches are non existent, which is great because I used to suffer from chronic migraines for many, many years. Um, my ear pain, which used to be like a big infection, is non-existent. I can do my work again. My students can hear me. I can actually turn my neck and see my students. I'm really excited about this. Thank you so much. So before you met me, my job was locking and it was locking both closed and open. And the pain was excruciating where I couldn't do my job. There are many days where I couldn't speak to my students and it's really hard with teaching special needs students. Um, it would lock at the random times. I'd be in the middle of driving, it would lock open. I couldn't swallow and I'd pull over and pray it was shut. Now, it doesn't do that. I'm really excited about that. I would say 95%. It still pops, but it's not the pain and it's not locking, which I will take 100%. The second one would be the migraine. So, I've always had migraines. They would come and they go. When I got hit, it was constant. When I woke up, when I went to bed, it would keep me up at night. Um, it would completely drain my energy. Um, I really couldn't do anything. I couldn't focus. I couldn't complete my work I had to do, um, either with teaching or with the paperwork side of it, because it just was non-existent. 
all I could focus on was that my face hurt, my head hurt. Now it's 100% better. I don't suffer from migraines. I might have a slight headache, but that's when I stop, take a break, and I'm fine to go. And the third one is the ear pain. Um, so I've had many um, ear infections over the years, but when I got hit, it was like a chronic pain, burning sensation in my ears. It was hard to focus. It's one of those things that I really can't handle when my ears hurt. Um, since doing this treatment, there is no ear pain to it. I can hear just fine. The ringing in my ears has gone down significantly. I'm really happy with that. That would be 100% better than where I started. So balance, I can actually balance instead of falling over on my butt every time. Um, turning my neck, I have full range of motion, which I did not have before. I could barely turn my head when I first started. Um, I, again, I can do the paperwork again, which is a big part of my job is doing that in a certain federal timeline. And I couldn't do that before. Now I can, back to where I was. A 90% improvement overall because I can focus with the headache, but also because I can turn my neck. Because when I'm doing the paperwork, I have to constantly turn my neck to look at my computer and write things down. I can't do that before. I couldn't focus. I couldn't turn and face a parent during a meeting. The neck and the memory with the, um, with the headaches, it would affect my memory there too. 100% better because I could not I could not go down, I could not go left, I could not go right, and I had a hard time going up. So um, I can last longer than before. Before I can even make it an hour or two into the school day before I was completely wiped out and my job would lock up. Now I can go the whole school day and I may be a little bit tired, but I'm nothing like I was when I first started. I would say a good 95% improvement. <laughs>